Pulling up line is another important aspect and if you do it wrong you can actually cause a lot of damage to your line. So I've got a kettle here with hot water, I've already got a half a uh, bucket of cold water so I'm just going to add this to that, this is the last bit. So what I want is lukewarm water which is important for me and then I take my spool of line and I dunk it in there. I'm gonna leave it like that now for probably the next 10 or 15 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and spool it up. Well 15 minutes has passed and I'm going to spool up the line. So I just use the bottom end of a fishing rod and I just wind the line around the spool. We just end it up like this so you can see. And all I do is I just go one, two, just a three turn grinner with a spool loose. I make sure that the knot is at the bottom end of the spool. So just move that down, make it slide all the way down like that. Cut it off and I'm ready to spool up. So I just tighten up the drag and I just hold the line between my fingers and that's all I need to spool it up. If you spool up a line, a dry line, you actually cause damage to the, to the molecular structure of the line and it actually starts fraying. The minute line starts fraying, you don't see the damage immediately but you see it after a while and your line can just sort of snap in the middle of nowhere and that causes a bit of a problem and people say that it's a bad line but it's actually not a bad line it's just the way that you spooled it up you will notice with um, with the spooling up the, the spool turns in different directions that is the way that this the line actually straightens itself and that's critically important for having a perfect line lay Right, and then filling up the spool. Good. Done and dusted.